Hey there boys and girls. So I wanted to make a quick video, kinda just unboxing the uh, real Pip-Boys that Bethesda offered. God, I think it was like a year ago and... Couldn't have been a year ago. I don't know, I don't remember when I bought it. But they finally came in. Not the, you know... Collector's edition thing, right? This plastic thing, but we're talking the real one. Alright. As you can see, I already kind of opened it up a little bit, but I kind of put it back together for you guys. Um, charging cable, operator's manual, and these have a couple of uh, international adapters in there for the, uh, for the charger. So let's get to it real fast. As you can see, Pip-Boy Deluxe Edition, Explore the Wasteland in style, pairs with your Bluetooth phone or tablet. This isn't like the other one where you actually run the whole thing off your phone. This is more like a smartwatch. You know, you can take calls, you can look at text messages, things like that. Right? Very simple. Boxing, right? I like it. It's like aluminum. Maybe not aluminum, but you know metal. Oh, the back of course here. Congrats if you're reading this. A scorching wave of atomic fire has likely turned the surface into a wretched husk of its former self. Yep, that's obviously what happened here. If it's most human arms, consult your overseer, blah blah blah. Kinda cool stuff, you know, cutesy little fallout things, Bethesda, I got the fallout shit, blah blah blah. Alright. Real stuff. Real talk. So. Oh, wow! Styrofoam. Yes, so as you can see, like I said, I already opened it up and hooked it up to my phone, so I can pull this bad boy out of here. Other than that, just the stand, kind of like the other one, and then the styrofoam padding. Now let's move a few things here. Alrighty. So as you can see, nice little screen. It's showing the it's showing the time and stuff right now. Okay. The lights light up. Amazing. Right. Most of this doesn't do a lot of anything. The knobs all generally work. They do things, but the lights don't. This is the only one that does something, and it's because it's the power button as well. Can't really see. That's alright. The knob directly to the right of it is the volume control. This one is the only one I've found that doesn't really do much yet. Maybe it does something and I just haven't figured it out, but um, it's kind of the radio dial, but I haven't tried using actual AM, FM radio, so we'll see. The RADS thing is just a sticker with a light in it. And then this light is on when the, when the whole thing is on. That's about it. Alright, now for the cool stuff. So first off, it opens the same way as the other one did, right? Right, two-step, opens up. It's kind of latched right here and here, okay? You just kind of have to pull it apart, but it's the same as the other one. It's just a padded area with a little Velcro strap. Close it back up, make this easier. That blue thing right there is the USB port for charging. You remember that guy? And now, the last couple things. This knob on this side. Does this one not do anything? Am I... Oh, there we go. Sorry, I forgot. This one's brightness on or off. So basically, turn the screen off, turn the screen on. Yes, I forgot. This one's the primary knob, right? 
stats, inventory, data, map, radio, and these actually do correspond to the to the categories at the top, just like the normal Pip Boy. So, you know, I can. Oops. Trying to get the flash out of the way. There we go. Switch inventory, stats, data, map, radio. Okay. Simple enough. Then you got these knobs on the top. They're actually just single knob. This is a left right knob. This is an up down knob, right? And a button. Okay. Think about it kind of like a. You know, you got a scroll wheel and a and a single button, right? Pretty simple. When you're within one of these categories, such as where I'm looking here, data, I can use the top one to switch between categories. Date, clock, set time, set alarm, settings, about, blah, blah, blah. Same goes for any of the others. I keep it on clock at the moment just because it has the date and the time. It's not like I need to see anything else, any time usually you know, button I'll, I'll press it just to yeah it doesn't even do anything on this screen that's okay it's just a select button you know if I go to stats go over to perks I can select a perk and see what it oh let's see what it, yeah the things it says right and then you just There we go. Go to the bottom, press top, and you can go back. That's really it. Um, oh, well, I'm dumb. So, each menu, of course. Stat is kind of useless. It shows a little bit, like, at the bottom you see those grayed out things. Those are stim packs and rataways. And those technically show the counts for, like, the number of texts and calls you've gotten since you paired your phone with it. Um, yeah, I don't care too much about that. Special and perks are just randomly added. Special has stats, uh, as, as the normal Fallout game would have, but it, they, they're randomly generated, they don't do anything. Same with perks, as far as I know. Um, you can scroll through them, press them, change the star count, look at the descriptions, blah blah blah. Inventory, I'm fairly certain, was something to do with text messages, but I'm, I haven't used it yet. Data is date, clock, alarm. Map has call logs and such. Radio is music control, which I haven't really tried yet. Um, that's really about it. It's a pretty cool little thing. No, oh, well, I'll keep it on a shelf for a while. It'll look good. Maybe I'll use it a little, to play around with it. It'd be great for cosplaying and stuff. Other than that, just kind of a cool cosmetic item. You know, if you're a big fan of Fallout, really cool to have. If you're not, ignore it. You know, doesn't really affect you at all. So, cool stuff. Nice little case that I'll maybe reuse, probably to carry this around. And then when I have a place to put it up on a shelf, you know, I will. Um, other than that, I think we're about done here. That's my quick little unboxing and demonstration real fast. Uh, I would say comments and likes and all that crap, but I really don't give a shit about it. If you like the video, here you go. If you don't, fuck off. I don't care. Peace.